Hi fellow earth signs, happy April Fool's Day. This is going to be an elemental earth, sun, moon, and rising, okay? Um, if the reading doesn't resonate, go back and look at whatever your moon sign or your rising sign is. Also, um, I'm going to ask that you go back and listen to the first perhaps three minutes and 30 seconds or three minutes and three minutes uh, of the um, elemental fire um, reading uh, because I said a whole bunch of stuff and I can't remember what all I said, but there's some information there for you. So go back, do me a favor, go back and listen to the first three minutes of that of that introduction of that reading and, and that'll give you that information. So I have with me the um, radiant white deck. I have them like, what? Brain fart. Okay. The elemental, uh, and this is an elemental earth, so that's going to be Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, of course, it's a general reading, uh, and the messages will not resonate with anyone that does require a personal reading. Um, I have readings from 20 minutes all the way up to two hours. My turnaround time is 24 to 72 hours. I do not make people wait. If you'd like to purchase a reading, uh, you can simply click on the I over here on the right of the screen. That'll take you directly over to the website. Uh, if you would like to join, there are three membership levels, and no matter which one you buy, you get the same stuff as everybody else, okay? So, depending on what the cards will be talking about will determine the clarifiers that I will use, but it will also determine what oracle cards that I'm going to, to pull up for you guys at the end of the reading when you get to ask your one question, all right? I've already done some uh, shuffling and focusing on the element of earth and we're just going to lay the cards and get started with the reading okay two of swords oh page of swords and the death card well I dare say Whatever you've been waiting on, whatever news, whatever message, whatever clarity you were waiting to come, that wait is over. The message is going to come. That message is going to end that particular situation for you or bring about an ending for you in some way, shape, or form. Um, let's lay the rest of the cards. There is the emperor. So some of you may be dealing with... Um, a fire sign male, perhaps an older male. Um, as a person, he represents the father or father figure. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you might be getting the news or you it's been kind of a sketchy news where you're not exactly certain about what you've been hearing. Maybe there has been a passing of someone like that in your family. Um, as a profession, this guy will be could be a soldier, he could be a police officer, um, typically he will be someone like a mentor, um, can work in philanthropy. Um, he's someone that has a lot of fingers, has a lot of irons in the fire, uh, has vast, and has vast holdings, vast knowledge, vast experience. Six of cups. The world card. Now this is interesting because uh, in the fire sign readings, these two cards came up. And they came up together in a different configuration, but they were they were next to each other. Page of Cups. So now I have two pages. King of Swords. So I have three people here. Okay, this could be about children. Sometimes this guy will show up like a judge too. Um, there are at least three people here. And these two pages, this could be with children because we do have the Six of Cups with the children representative in the center. But basically to me, the two pages speak to news and messages and offers. Okay. There is the four 
of wands now that's interesting it really is I know y'all hear me say that all the time but I have two fours and I have two pages now two fours can speak to a safe and secure time period okay well everything's okay uh, nothing dramatic has happened um, but two fours can also speak to a stagnant situation as an energy the Emperor is going to be about maintaining control over yourself it represents the sign of Aries Aries is the sign of the ego or the self me 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 so this is about um, being able to balance logic and emotion at the same time the Emperor didn't become the Emperor because he was a sap and um, a um, person who uh, was able to be easily manip emotionally manipulated right he, he, he wouldn't have what he has he wouldn't have that position he wouldn't be in that position if that's the way he was but he also wasn't the kind of individual um, he's not the kind of individual in terms of balancing out your emotions who is so hard-hearted okay <clears throat> that um, he has no compassion for other people he won't be able to hang on to what he has somebody's gonna usurp him and knock him down okay so this is really about being able to be both emotionally balanced and logically balanced so that you can be the leader and make the decisions that you need to make over the whole reading is the chariot card I feel for some of you this is a move about a move Sometimes the Six of Cups will show up when we are discussing, um, when it's talking about redecorating your home, beautifying things, making it more comfortable, more pleasant, more pleasing. Um, granted, the it, it could be about home, um, childhood home, memories, nostalgia, uh, the way life quote unquote used to be. Um, this card can also represent that soulmate kind of person coming in. Maybe childhood, high school, college, sweethearts. I, you know, I don't know. But as we, you hear me say all the time, soulmate relationships are quite difficult. Okay? They really task you to look at all of the things, not about the other person, not about the situation, but about yourself. How do you act and react? How do you base your decisions or not base your decisions? How do you fight? How do you uh, compromise? what things trigger you so that is the energy of the Emperor I do feel some of you may be dealing with a um, air sign male um, he, this he represents the sign of Aquarius so that maybe the person is an Aquarian um, in other words they're gonna be quite unique and quite different if not that then what we are dealing with is someone again we have this idea of someone in the military or uh, that works in that kind of law enforcement kind of a thing but he could also be a doctor a dentist a soldier a writer an editor a chef any place where there's going to be the use of sharp tools any place where there's going to be knowledge an objective knowledge and learning uh, sometimes I see him show up as an inventor okay um, because he is an Aquarian and Aquarius is ruled by Uranus so this could be somebody who is a scientist or an inventor of some kind um, I have one two three major arcana cards one two three swords two cups a wand and the three court cards over the entire reading is this idea of the chariot what does a chariot card mean and this this relates to I'm gonna go all the way back to the new moon that fell uh, crap I don't know I can't remember off the top of my head I want to say the new moon in March was in Pisces uh, this is cancer okay but it's still a water sign then we had the full moon in March on March 21st falling at zero degrees Libra well this month in April we have our new moon will be in Aries but then we get a double dose of special because the full moon will have two full moons in the same sign on April 20th 21st we will have the full moon falling at Libra 
but it will be at 29 degrees Libra. So that's the end of this particular cycle of relating. I just get the sense that some of you are, um, like I said, you've been waiting on that particular news. I also feel that for some of you, you've been sitting on the fence about making some kind of decision, but you have been able to kind of, in a sense, kind of maintain your balance and your focus and move things forward. Maybe you've been going back over some offers that have come into you or, or going back over some kind of message or news. You haven't allowed this to kind of throw you off, so to speak. Because the pages are tip, they're tentative. It's tentative messages and news. It's a, something that's just beginning. Um, this death card tells me that this is a major change. Now here with the world card, this is about the idea really of the ending of a major life cycle coming for you. Maybe some of some of you are, are with birthdays coming up, uh, the sign of Taurus, um, and, and you're turning, let's say you're going from 49 to 50, <laughs> okay? You, you're reaching a new cycle. You reach that half century mark, okay? Um, but whatever this thing ends, I do feel for some of you that someone in your life has passed away or you're going to get that news. The reason why I say that is the king is dead. But right after the, the death of this king, this emperor shows up. And the emperor is more than the king. So this could also be the idea that you are, that death is a, a metaphorical death, that someone is going from a king to an emperor. It definitely has to do with some kind of celebration, some kind of maybe even travel. As I said, there's a, a, a lot of movement cards here. Um, not that there's actual movement uh, being the only two movements that you see really in the um, idea of movements of three cards. Basically, those are the, the Knight of uh, Swords, the Knight of Wands, and that Six of uh, Swords. Those are the actual quote unquote kind of uh, movement cards. The chariot implies movement too, but we don't see that chariot moving. It's just kind of stationary. But we know that the chariot can be a vehicle. Um, it does uh, imply the idea of being able to, um, again, this is about that emotional balance of, of holding on to something no matter what the obstacles or the challenges or the delays are or the, how big the changes are um, and just being able to continue to move forward with whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, for some of you, uh, one of the messages of the two pages is um, there may have been a short-term illness. Maybe that is why this person, we see someone passing away. I, I still just get the sense, I'm going to put that out there, that there, there may have been a passing but to me, if that's true, the passing lets one person fall away, but someone to step into that place who is going to be quite more than the person who passed away. I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, just kind of bear with me with that. Now, I can't look at... Um, these three court cards as they relate to these three um, major arcana. But what I can, that, that doesn't leave me a lot. It leaves me the two of swords, the six of cups, and the four of wands in that diagonal. This says that there's the end of something here, but that again, it's as though the cards are saying when this ends, something else is immediately presented to you. 
That's why I keep saying, um, if this is a literal passing away, somebody that clears the way for this person, this emperor individual, whether male or female, to come in and kind of um, help you to rebalance, okay? And help you to move through this. That doesn't explain to me who this King of Swords is. And maybe, um, I, I, I don't know, this person is pivotal. This the, the King of Swords is someone pivotal. Because he, oh wow, that's a double message. He transitions from a page to a king. See that? King dies, there's the emperor. Well, here's the page and now there's the king. So it's, these are transitional states. That to me is what the death and the world card are speaking about. This is a transition right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at, I can, I can only look at these things and then I'm gonna have to go to the uh, clarifier. I don't even know what to use because I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at. So the two of swords, tells me nothing <laughs> the six of cups if this was about an argument of some kind I do sense that you're going to be able to get an opportunity to uh, rectify the situation Yes, there it is. Six of Cups appearing next to the Emperor is an indication that there may be some misunderstandings within a personal relationship that need to be discussed and resolved. You're going to get an opportunity for this to come back around. Someone or something is coming back around. Yes. Four of Wands. This is definitely some kind of personal relationship here. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Remember when I was saying that the individual may, may be like... Um, a philanthropist, not just a philanthropist, but what do you call those? Uh, not a hedge fund manager. Those those guys that do those. Um, what do you call it? I can't think of the name of what they do. An entrepreneurial kind of a person. Okay, that's what I'm getting. When the Four of Wands appears next to the world, it invokes a very powerful vibration it tells of the opportunity to become involved in an important large-scale operation organization or project that's why you're gonna be moving and maybe this king tells me that someone the person who used to hold this position is no longer there That's what that says. Well. I don't know if you get an offer to come stay with somebody or live with somebody or somebody helps you to find a place or help you to quote unquote settle in. Huh? Let's um we're gonna take a look at the two of swords.
the death card. I'm going to look at four cards for you. The Emperor and the King of Swords. Now, normally I don't pull cards on Major Arcana cards. <clears throat> and no matter what, that's three swords together, the two and the page. The page and the king is another two swords. The two of swords and the king is three swords. But taken all together, that's four swords. Isn't that something? Ace of spades. Jack of clubs. King of clubs. Okay. The Ace of Spades usually deals with misfortune, bad luck, endings, sometimes a death, a tragic ending. But it can also just be the idea of, of well, it's just that. Whenever a jack shows up next to a king, that implies that there's, there's either someone protecting you or there's some protection there. So while this mediation or this standstill or this not being certain about what's happening um maybe it is a death maybe it is an ending maybe it is and there's no clarity quote unquote under the situation there is some protection afforded here now um it's funny that he comes out as the king of wands because it's a fire sign now the jack of clubs well I, I, i'll go into that in a minute Let's look at this death card. I mean, that ace of spades was it. Um, maybe this is the idea that that someone has passed and, and, and you don't know it yet. Or that in their passing, it actually protects you in some way, shape, or form. It says that there's somebody else, though. Four of clubs. Five of diamonds, eight of hearts. I'm just going to put these down. And I'm going to give you the two interpretations of the playing cards. What I like about the playing cards is they just get kind of straight to the point. Ten of spades. Wow. Wow. Ace of Diamonds. Holy smoke, that's two aces. So there's a work component here. There are thoughts. There's three clubs. There's perhaps finances or the doing of. There's only one heart here. Nine of Clubs. Huh. Now let's take a look at this uh, King of Swords, shall we? Maybe this is the idea that you think somebody has uh, tried to play a trick on you of some sort. Because, I mean, honestly, sometimes that page of swords is not a nice message. Okay? It could be one born of jealousy and ill will. I have to take a look at that jack uh, to, to see that. Um, King of swords. There's another jack. Jack of diamonds. Four of spades. Six of clubs. Basically, I'm going to say this. I don't think there's a whole lot of love lost in this. But there's definitely some passion, speed, anger, heat, focus, fire, determination with these clubs. Uh, there are some misunderstandings or miscommunications. And again, that idea with the diamonds, the diamonds don't just represent finances, they represent the doing of something. Let's look. I don't know what this could be. I gave you the meaning of the eight of spades. The only thing that's certain in life are death and taxes. <laughs> okay. Um, so this, this could be the idea that
something very misfortunate, some news, some accident, some bad luck, or just, you know, something just came. And, and maybe you've been in a space where you're like, I don't even know what to think about that. Okay. Jack of Clubs. Your tall, dark stranger under 40. With the king, the tall, dark stranger. <laughs> okay. Male friends, lovers, or relatives. Hmm. Four of clubs. Maybe that's the way he communicates, like a jack. Maybe he said something. Four of clubs. <coughs> Well, it speaks to communications, uh, diagnostic equipment. Computerized technology, visual technology. Maybe this is the speaking about the type of work with the five of diamonds. It's a surprise, surprise. Something is unexpected. A financial goodie, a bonus, a gift, a commission, a windfall. When we talk about that idea, you're getting that opportunity to work on something large. Ten of spades. Well, the death card says whatever this crap is, it ends it. And then here's this thing coming up. So that ten tells me this is and it says tragic endings, especially when one is not ready to let go. It represents life space transitions. It represents the endings to a portion of life, closing the door and letting go of the past. I don't know what this is. The Ace of Diamonds speaks to travel out of country, out of state. Property. Remember I said that. Now, these cards, the Jack of Diamonds is the uniformed man, policeman, fireman, judge, doctor, lawyer. There he is. Remember, I said that. But with the four of spades, it just says it's not a happily ever after. Again, there's that idea of a tragic ending, but this ending does speak to a new beginning. With the six of clubs, like it's a circular kind of a thing again it speaks to travel land motor car bus train ambulance there's our chariot a land vehicle not over water that's what this card would represent now let me give you the other message. Let's see. Okay. When a a queen a jack next to either a king or a queen equals protection. It's almost like whatever this thing is that you don't know what the hell. Maybe this is something that's going on without your knowledge. You didn't know it was occurring. Then suddenly you get the news. Okay. So Ace of Spades says misfortune, sometimes associated with death or more often a difficult ending. Um, the Jack of Clubs speaks about a dark haired person, someone who is popular uh, and good hearted. Uh, will be a fire sign individual. The king of clubs is a dark haired kind man or one with fire predominating his chart. Generous and spirited. It's speaking to two people at the same time, I think. Okay. Four of clubs. It says beware of dishonesty or deceit. Avoid blind acceptance of... Ah! Of others at this time remember I said it's almost like something happened maybe there was a fight or an argument and the person lost their position beware of dishonesty or deceit avoid blind acceptance 
if this is not an actual death this is about someone going from one state to another from a king to an emperor but there was some sadness associated with that that five of diamonds says happiness and success a change for the better a good time for new projects we see it whatever this ending is it just and here's this eight of hearts <clears throat> i don't even know if i read that card the eight of hearts says an unexpected gift or an invitation to a party letting something go but look there's a financial upswing and there's that nine of clubs let's look at this the ten of spades worry and bad news with the ace of diamonds it says a change a message often about money and usually good news there it is <laughs> with the nine of clubs it says achievement sometimes a wealthy marriage or a sudden windfall that's the nine of clubs that big project that major organization that thing that's coming the jack of diamonds down here Again, says a uniformed person, someone who's jealous, who may bring bad news, is generally kind of unreliable. Okay, but whatever the news is that the person brings, it's something that's minor. It's not something that kind of affects the whole outcome of the situation. Like it could be more like a nuisance. The Four of Spades says small worries, problems, financial difficulties. And with this six of clubs, it says financial aid or success. That's why I say whatever this thing is, it's 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 um it has a lot of moving components to it, a lot of back and forth, a lot of bad news, maybe fights, maybe messages, maybe somebody got fired, maybe somebody got demoted, maybe somebody died. But nevertheless, out of this says that you're, it, it takes you through this particular cycle and you're going to end up here with something to celebrate. That's really what that card says. Now, I'm going to pull... I don't even know what to tell you about that. <laughs> and I need to go back and look over my life to see what has happened. My father passed away 20 years ago. Um, so I don't recognize this for myself. I don't know. And that's why I don't read cards for myself because they don't, I don't, I can never interpret the message for myself. And typically I have to go through the event or the situation and then have to go back and go, oh, that's what the cards were telling me. Because at the time, it don't be making no damn sense. Not that I don't recognize the situation. I just can't even interpret the messages. So I get a lot of messages for myself when I read, but you know, I'm not here to read for myself. But I do take note of things. All right. We're going to use a psychic oracle tarot. Let's see what this says. Six of swords moving on. Now, there is a timing issue here. See, he's holding that clock. And he's walking from a somewhat dark out into the light. Okay, let's look at this. This is a swords card. You are, in, are about to embark on a much needed journey to leave the past behind. This card lets you know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. See? And it signifies that the time has arrived in which a difficult cycle in your life is coming to an end. In the traditional tarot, this card also implies traveling or going forward, involving crossing water or even moving abroad. Calmer waters are ahead, and with all the lessons you've learned from past experiences, you're approaching this period having grown, and you're so much stronger for it. What can I say? You're shedding the king, and you're becoming an emperor. The healing process is underway 
And now you can set your goals, desires, and objectives to secure a more positive and successful future. Because your mind is more settled and less worried, synchronistic events will bring the right conditions and introduce people into your life for your highest good. Well, that's what I have for you, Earth Signs. That's going to be an exciting April. Y'all let me know how that go. And until next time, namaste.